A Wichita family is watching the war in Ukraine very closely. They recently hosted a ballerina from there as she was traveling the world performing the Nutcracker. Kiss and Jessica Watson joins us with that story tonight. Jess. Anna Trofimova lives in Lviv, and that is the city hit with Russian missiles Friday morning. She says she's okay and is thankful for the love and support Ukrainians have received from around the world. And that includes her host family in Wichita. Hi. A virtual reunion for Anna and the Rogers family. After first meeting in 2018, they formed a lifelong friendship from their dates together in Wichita. It was so amazing. I remember going to the airport and we had the sign that said Anna Trofimova. Anna has just been very special to us from the beginning. The Rogers say once they learned about the attack on Ukraine, their first concern was if Anna was safe. All Ukrainians, I remember that morning when everybody woke up, uh, after the friends call um, at the 5 a.m. Uh, and, you know, listen to words, the war has begun. But instead of leaving her country, Anna says she had to stay to help out others. And we invited the people who escaped from other states of Ukraine, other areas who were bombing. And um, we provide, um, you know, uh, the hosting and the food and um, essential things. Anna says she and several of her friends have created a shelter where many families and soldiers can seek help. I need to be a part of this. Anna has been doing all she can to remain safe, living in Lviv, a community in the western part of the country that has been relatively safe until the first airstrike early Friday. Even when we spoke the day before the attack, Anna was taking precautions. In the night while listening, um, air alarm and then we're supposed to go to the shelter and wait so two days before uh, we had five hours long the air alarm. The first thing that came to my mind was I just want Anna to be okay. The Rogers say they along with many others in the dance community will be donating to Anna's shelter. For everybody else that doesn't necessarily know somebody in Ukraine it keep in mind there are people like Anna throughout the country that are trying to help their fellow Ukrainians. It really helps. It really helps and um, we're getting stronger with every single moment, with every single call with by a friend because we are all superheroes in this time. <laughs> Anna says her center is also been going to the front lines to deliver supplies and sleeping bags to the military. If you'd like to donate to the center, we have those details on our website. That is KSN.com. Here for you, Jessica Watson, KSN News 3.